the right or right. It's Labor Day. It is 4.30 in the morning and everything is pretty much how I left it. I did kind of lightly sand this area that the sweat dripped and hit it again. I'm going to go over everything with the thousand to catch any little nibs real quick here. But everything looks pretty pretty much untouched. There's not a lot of bugs outside on the lights. There's, there's hardly no bugs. So that's good. It's been so hot. I, I think they all died. So anyways, when you get to mixing, you're going to be using less than all base coat. Uh, it's 85 degrees in here right now. This mix is two to one. And I got some activator. I'm going to put one ounce of activator per sprayable quart. And for my information, for my knowledge, that helps in case there's any breakthrough whenever I wet sand and I have to spot in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and mix up probably about four quarts to get started. It took 60 ounces yesterday of sealer, so it's going to take a little bit more than that of base coat. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and mix four quarts. I know for sure I'm going to use four quarts, so I might as well do that and, and get a gauge on how much one coat is going to be. I'm going to be using DV1, built-in regulator, uh, probably somewhere around 14, 15 PSI. You guys back once we get to spraying.
right all right so you guys watched us spray three coats three coats on everything so far really no major issues to report no no big trash we had a, a little bit in the second round but we nibbed them before the third with some thousand grit and then uh they cleaned up okay so we're moving forward i'm spraying all the vertical pieces because i sweat profusely and i don't want to sweat on something horizontal so color really really changes kind of flip-flops a little bit Started spraying at exactly five o'clock. It's almost 7:45 right now. We've been done for about 20 minutes. So what we're gonna do now? Is uh get some breakfast, hang out till about 10. Come in and spray three rounds of Euro. You can see all the heavy, uh, heavy overspray is in this area on the floor. It uh, doesn't quite make it up to the fan. But other than that, man, we're moving right along. It's laying out pretty good. dv one's working pretty good. So we'll bring you guys back in about two hours.
tag. Really nervous about having these doors hung out here. I can do it early in the morning, but come three or four o'clock, it's really it starts the breeze starts picking up and it'd be a nightmare if these things flew blew over. Just got some pollen and stuff on them. Of course, the pieces that you don't even see came out without any type of nib or dirt or anything. And I actually gave these things like minimal prep. Spent a lot of time ev everywhere else, but it seems like on the areas that you kind of just go over without really caring, come out great. Also back here where the tail panel covers, I gave it about 50% effort and it came out great. So, hope you guys enjoyed this paint job. It's quite a milestone for the car, but we still got a long ways to go. I mean, I would say that the car is probably like halfway done. Still have a lot, a lot. Upholstery. I got I got somebody scheduled to come out uh, on the uh, first week of November to install the top. I got to get the seats covered, uh, wiring, fuel system, brakes, glass, stainless, a lot. So it's about halfway done. Maybe sixty percent. Maybe sixty percent. But I'm loving the color. I can't say it enough, man. That's exactly what I wanted. So, hope you guys enjoyed this process. Y'all stay tuned for more work. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.